Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am putting together a baby boy album and I've done a lot of the prep work. I'm probably going to be add, adding a few embellishments as I go. I'll have to see when I get to that point. But I'm using the Simple Stories Snap Collection Baby Boy and this collection is meant to um, put directly into those little clear pocket pages and you can buy a snap album but I'm using the digital collection so I'm using this for something a little bit different if you've never worked with digital papers I will link a video down in the description box where I explain a little bit more of how I use them and I like to use them with my silhouette cameo I basically print out the papers or embellishments and have my silhouette cameo cut them out you do not have to have a Cricut or Cameo to do that. You can print them out and cut them by hand if you choose to do so. I love working with digital because I can print them as many times as I want once I've purchased them. And I can also scale them to whatever size I want. I can change them and um, add to the papers if I want. So check that video out if you've never worked with digital. But if you're using regular papers, you can do the exact same thing. Just cut them out to size that I'm using. So what I'm using is this box. It's a recipe box or a card box from Hobby Lobby. And this is the four by six size. They come in different sizes. Um, I have another one that I plan on doing a baby girl album with. And this one, let me get rid of the glare. Again, is from Hobby Lobby. I think I paid, um, because this one was on sale I think I paid about three dollars for it less than four dollars and this one's the craft a7 card storage same type of box and to match the craft I will be covering this I haven't um, cut or print any of the papers out for this yet but um, and you can mix and match collections also if you wanted to I cut out all the cards that are going to go inside like this one I designed on my silhouette cameo and I'm gonna do two of them to make them a little bit stronger since this um, may be compromised if it was only one piece. And then I also designed a bunch of the inserts. These are gonna be for month one through 12. So I'm gonna have a, a baby first year album. I love doing those. So it's gonna be the one through 12. It's gonna also have the welcome and it's, it has milestone cards in it, weight, length, milestones, and highlights. This way the mom can quickly jot down everything that's going on with the baby and then add a photo to the back. So she'll have a quick keepsake um, journaling cards. I also designed a few more shapes here, tabbed. This one's simple, it's just a circle. And then I have this one here. And a bracket edge, which tends to always be my favorite. Then I also have a bunch of four by six cards. Super cute collection. These I will be adding to some of those tabbed cards. I may just glue them back to back. Haven't decided quite yet what I'm doing. I did just want to print out quite a few of the first ones um, and get those cut out so I could get most of the legwork then um, off camera. So I hope you stay tuned and watch this. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me also show you. I have some four by four cards and I did cut out some craft cardstock that are mattings for these that are four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I have some three by four ones as well. So check the description box for more information. I will do a lot of this off camera being that it will be redundant just gluing the papers on, but I hope you stay tuned.
So here is the final box, and again I'm using Baby Boy Snap by Simple Stories, Oh Baby, and Hello Baby, all by Simple Stories. Super cute collection. It has my nephew's name on it, Hanson. These little safety pins I got from, I believe it was Hobby Lobby. I used some Teresa Collins enamel dots here and here, and then a bow that I cut from the Silhouette Studio. I have this little... Um, it's a button that I cut the back off and it's a little tiny teddy bear, super cute. And let me just quickly go through. I did cover the inside too, just to give it a little color. And I'll actually pull all of it out. You can see this holds a ton. And she'll be able to put a ton of four by six, four by four, and three by four photos just throughout, um, just loosely if she wants, or add them to the back of all of these cards. So we have the welcome. I'll do this super quick. Some of these I did double side, so she would just wanna leave them for decoration. Others are left open with craft cardstock on the back so she can add photos. Here is your story. I did it on front and back so she can write down his birth story. Super cute. That one's left open for a three by four photo. Again, I'll go through these rather quickly. Here's one with a tab. In the back, I have extra, let's see how this goes. I have extra um, blank tabbed cardstock and four by four. They're actually four and a quarter by four and a quarter, so she can put four by four photos on them. Here it is for the second month. And again, all of these are for photos, and she could just add photos throughout as well. So she just jots down some milestones, some information, and she has a great keepsake for the first year of the baby's life. 
and then happy first birthday. And this could be a one-year-old picture. Just some extra cards for lots of photos. I think I'm going to go back and mix some of these up throughout the album instead of keeping them all in the back. I love this one. I'm going to mix these up throughout the album. So thanks so much for staying tuned with me through this entire project. This was a lot of fun to make. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.